I'm Brick Road, and apparently I am extremely broke because I looked through the whole apartment and did not find a single coin. So I'm just gonna roll my d8 again and do evens and odds. It's an even, so it's gonna be Guts Man, one of the most iconic Mega Man bosses ever. Um, let's see here. So you know what? Everybody loves Guts Man. They do because he's so iconic. He's like the quintessential Mega Man boss. When you first think of Mega Man games and the kind of monsters you fight. But like, Guts Man is right up there in the Mets, and then his like super famous level with the platforms that you yeah, do the thing in the hey hey. I got it covered. So Valentine's roll is gonna take on Guts Man. Here we go. Now, of all the remixed music in Mega Man Powered Up, come on back. Of all the remix music, I think I like the new version of Guts Man's the best. Um, let me try to articulate why. In the original Mega Man, it's like his level had a kind of a sinister sound to it. Like, a, almost a very evil. Eh, maybe not evil. Mischievous might be a good word, but definitely not, like, hap-happy like this. Which fits the 8-bit Mega Man game, but doesn't really fit the, uh... Like, the style of game they're going with for Powered Up, so they had to kind of switch it up a little bit. So the remix they gave it, it's like the melody is still the same, but they made it, like, super up-tempo and happy, which it wasn't originally. And I think it fits really well when set aside the rest of the songs in the game. Very well indeed. Okay, this part sucks. I'm gonna have to be super, super careful. And then one last. Oh, oh yes, I love, love how that jump worked for me. That's a really difficult jump, believe it or not. And you actually do want to climb down these ladders. And I'll show you why. It's like another screen or two here, because it caught me off guard like the first three times I played this level. It was ridiculous. You might. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna say it was redonkulous with the diggity dong. Free guy. I love it. And I love how she can one-shot the little construction dudes. Nobody else in the game can do that except Roll. Well, you know what? No, I think Bomb Man can do it. I am kind of glad though that like they, they. I think they were supposed to make other powered-up games, but they didn't for some reason. Maybe because nobody bought this one. Ah, oh, right there. Yeah, if I dropped, I would have died right there and fell on spikes. But now I'm almost kind of glad they didn't because here's what would have happened. Okay, you listening? They would have got to Mega Man Powered Up 3, the third Mega Man Powered Up game. And then can you imagine trying to play Top Man? Can you imagine how difficult that would be? Let's get psyched up with some Mountain Dew before this fight. Oh, God, I love it. I have the most adorable little straw, too. Warning. So yeah, maybe it's for the best that the Powered Up series started and ended right here with the original. That's a very sexist thing to say, Guts Man. I just tapped my microphone when I was trying to scratch my nose. Oh, yeah, being invisible, I'm not going to be able to see when he's landing. That's going to make this fight really, really tough. Huh, this is very, very hard. Ow. I have not found a good way to dodge this attack. Like, he always catches me with that. Uh-oh. Oh, man! So close! Whew. In case you can't tell what's happening, because you've never played Mega Man, that's what I'm going to assume. I'm going to assume you've never played Mega Man before. That's how dumb I am in my stupid head. But when he lands on the ground, he causes like an earthquake that knocks you on your butt. And if I can't see where he's at in his jump... 
I cannot time that well enough. Like, it's a little bit... It's okay when he's got his block. Oh god, I'm gonna lose two lives on Guts Man. Damn it! I'm gonna lose two lives on Guts Man. That's no good. Oh, wow. How am I ever, ever gonna get through the boss rush? Okay. Uh... Maybe I'll just farm free guys somewhere. I don't know. It's like, I need nine free guys for the boss rush when I can see what the bosses are doing. Jump. Oh, he got me. And when he backs you into a corner like that, it's like I don't really know a good way to dodge his stuff. Oh, God. Really? On Guts Man? Ah! I'm gonna waste all my lives on Guts Man. This is no good. <laughs> I said at the beginning that Roll made the stages pretty easy, but the bosses were very, very difficult. And Gutsman is a hard boss anyway in this game because his weakness is the time slow. Which doesn't actually do damage to him. And you only get two shots of it, so... It's actually pretty similar to Quick Man in Mega Man 2. Throw the box. Oh, goodness. I hate when he does this. Wow. I had like seven or eight free guys and then... Huh. Let's see, how can I farm free guys easily? Well, I've got one more boss to fight anyway, before I have to worry about that. So, uh, let's just save the game real quick. And I guess I don't have to save after every single level, but I'm, like, anal about it, and I don't really trust my computer in the recording rig. Um... Because there's a thunderstorm out right now, and losing power would be pretty awful. Hopefully that won't happen. Fireman is the last boss. See you tomorrow.